the present NLC uh, vice uh, deputy president and uh, vice president board of uh, International Transport Federation London and uh, he is presently the Ansarudin Northern Council chairman this is all I know about my husband myself I am a teacher um, I work with oil industry. I started uh, my career as a teacher. I proceeded to Ministry of Defense 1984. From Ministry of Defense, I was posted to Federal Character Commission. When Federal Government established Federal Character Commission, we are the pioneers that were removed from various ministries to set up Federal Character Commission. I was there at Federal Character Commission. I was at uh, Economic and Finance Committee. Later, I was moved to Communication Committee. Along the line, I got transferred from Federal Character Commission to Federal Civil Service Commission, where I was posted to Petroleum Equalization Fund Management Board. That was uh, that was on a lateral transfer and uh, Petroleum Equalization Fund Management Board is a parastatal of NNP, NNPC. Then I retired voluntarily. While I was at Petroleum Equalization Fund, I was posted to um, 
deputy auditor. Then from there, I became head of inspectorate and investigation. From there, I became the coordinator. I have to, yes, let me, let me conclude. I became the coordinator of all zonal auditors across the board. From there, I became, I was posted back to uh, the head office at the customer service department where I headed Cervicon. Cervicon was my last place of office before I retired. I was one time a member of the uh, constitutional conference set up by um, President Ebele Jonathan. That was 2014. I served diligently and I did my best. Yeah. It's a political party. I have never been a political party. I, a political, uh, I've never been in politics. But I have been in unionism. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a leader with the weak women in Pengasin. I have, uh, I've, I'm, I'm a leader with National Council for Women's Society. I've been into, uh, I've, been, I've been the representative of West Africa. International Transport Federation. I'm representing West Africa. I've been in various offices, I've worked, but this is my first time of joining politics. I was really coerced into politics while I was in national conference. A lot of political parties came to war me into their party. Because of my antecedents, they saw the way I was performing at the national conference. But I told them that it was not ripe enough for me to be there one, I was still a civil servant then. Secondly, I saw politics as where you can go and steal. I told them when politics is one you work hard and you earn your legitimate money by serving the people, that is when I will join and that is the time has come now. I have been, I have been advised to intervene that we should not look, see Nigeria crumbling down. We need to do something. The country is dying. P children are dying. Parents are dying. There is insurgency. There is kidnapping. There is raping. There is a lot of social vices. Children are into drugs and all this stuff. Now, is it how we will sit down? We are stakeholders and be watching our children dying after they have gone to read and become 40 years old. They have no job. They have no wife. They have no children. The girls will go and throw decency overboard by doing some funny, funny things that is not good. Parents cannot say anything because parents are also in dilemma. Hunger, they are dying. They, felt, they know that what their children are doing is not good, but they cannot control them because of the situation they found themselves. No, a, a corruption is the, is the name of everywhere. When you leave Nigeria to go anywhere, people will say, is it Nigeria? They are all corrupted. Government have gone into borrowing money. We don't know what they are doing with it. Nothing has happened. Things are not changing. We need change. We need better government. We need food. We need peace. We need democracy. We want everybody to be co-opted and be part of the, the progress of this country. So we cannot sit down and watch them killing our children. As, yeah, I'm speaking now, being the national woman leader of this party, NNPP, New Nigerian People's Party, I can say that the party knows the worth of a woman. When they chose me, they knew we are very, very important, we are relevant, we will move the country. Our children, whatever happens to our children, we are highly affected. Whatever happened to the country, we are affected. We have to be at the decision-making body in this country. If we are part and parcel of decision-making, things will work well. Nigeria will be happy. Everybody will have peace. Everybody will live fine. And sanity will be the order of the day. Our men should please stop seeing women as lower species. We are not lower species. We complement each other. Our role is very, very vital. We advise our men, we advise them, we create a, an enabling environment for them. 
we make them comfortable, we sit with them and synergize together to make sure that whatever assignment they have been placed on, they do it diligently and to the best of their knowledge. We are movers. We have a lot of women, if I had to be mentioning their names, you'd be surprised. Women that have aspired higher, they are all over there working, making this country proud wherever they are. Some of them are in the country, some of them are outside the country. You cannot see other country, other countries' women working hard in other foreign countries like our women. We are into, into a lot of uh, activities. You can see we have Okonjo Iwale. She's a Nigerian and she's working at the National Nations. You can see uh, Mrs. Amina Muhammad. She's working there. You can see even this Dora Akuyele before she died. What a man cannot do, she did it diligently. We have them, if, see Abike Dabiri, the young lady. She's working hard about the diaspora. Before, if there is any program, problem in other country, nobody brings in our children home. She made sure that she organized the vehicle, she, she talked to government, she talked to the parents, and they are bringing them back peacefully because of this uh, uh, insurgence in this other country. So we have a lot of our women working hard, doing better. We are highly educated. We are not the lowest species. We work hand in hand with the men. We assist them to actualize their dream. We make the home comfortable for him to be able to do better. We take care of the children. We are the homemakers. They are the breadwinner. But still, we still complement each other. So please, the role of a woman is quite important. It's not supposed to be relegated to the back door. We are at the forefront because we are working assiduously with you to make sure that whatever you think is good for this country is good for us and we do it together. I don't have any aspiration for 2023, but I am here to support my women, to sensitize them and make sure that we have more women and youth in this, in this program. More women and youth because the youth are suffering. Youth, they have read, they've gone to school, the parents have spent a lot of money, they have sponsored them, they have their good certificate, but they use them as dogs, they use them as drug barons, they have gone into various vices because there is no job. The parents have suffered mercilessly, but at the end of the day, they cannot see their grandchildren. They cannot see their children marrying, both the girls and the boys. They cannot witness the growth of their children. Their great-grandchildren is so sad. We need to change the narrative. This is the political party, NNPP, NNPP, NNPP. New Nigerian People's Party is the party that will salvage this country. It is the party that will put the wrong, wrong right. It is the right party. I'm urging everybody here today to please join us in NNPP, New Nigeria People's Party, is the answer. It is Amana Party. It is not the one they come and invest. After investing, when they get to the office, they start stealing the money. There will be no road, no water, no hospital, no schools, and not, 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 not any facility for them to enjoy. We are tired. We don't want such kind of government. They should pack and go. We will take care of the nation. We are up to the task. NNPP Amana. NNPP Amana. NNPP Amana. Comrade Alatari Suleiman Musa. I'm the CTC chairman of this Anubu party, which is named Nigeria People's Party in Kwara State here in Nigeria. We are here today to decide who will lead us in this very particular uh, uh, party. More importantly, we are electing our leaders today. Those who take over the mantle of leadership from me as chairman of Ketika Committee, alongside with other of my people that will serve for some times. As a result of this, we want to elect our officers who will pilot the affair of the union. Although our election is going to be consensual because this is a party that we don't have any rancor, we don't have any problem. The 16 local government of Kwara State, we see ourselves as the brothers and sisters. And as a result of that, we have decided that social position should go to this based on consensual, social position should go to this, social position should go to that. And as a result of all of us, we have agreed 
on what position come to Quara Central, what position go to Quara North, and what position go to Quara South. As a result of that, we are here to just authenticate our leaders that we follow the affairs of our party. Uh, by the grace of God, when you look at the caliber of people who are on ground with our party, you discover that we have tested APC, the failures, PDP, the same applicable. And this time around, we are talking about new generation. And that is why we are thinking of having a Nigeria that is ours. We are thinking of Quara that is ours. And by the grace of God, chances of this very political party to emerge victoriously in Quara State and Nigeria is very, very obvious. So that is just it. It's all right. Thank you. Um, I am Asiwaju Shitu, one of the convener of the New Nigerian People's Party here in Kwara State. Uh, I'm here for the State Congress today. Uh, there is no doubt about uh, the question uh, that you have just made about do we think this party can beat other party in the state? Uh, like the story in Quara, we are convinced that uh, NMPP, New Nigeria People's Party, is taking over the next elections come 2023 in Quara State. Uh, why? Am I having that confidence of uh, saying we are taking over Quara? Uh, uh, everybody that you find in NMPP today belongs to either of those major, who calls themselves the major party of Nigeria, which uh, in Quara last election, we tried other means to see how we can rescue our people from where they have been. But uh, the case is still uh, people are not convinced of where they find themselves. Uh, the history of Quara has been so pity and uh, uh, by the grace of God with the level of our sensitization has gone so far. People have realized that the only thing they need is where they can find uh, uh, equity and justice, which even the motor of this party is telling us equity and justice. Uh, so by the grace of God, uh, our people, you can see what is happening with the turn up of uh, even the people. You will see the, the caliber of people, even businessmen that have never participated in uh, politics this time around, even say they have not just saying they are supporting us, but they even they will be fully part of even escorts of the party. Uh, the people of APC are here, people of PDP are here, people of other parties are here to see that we come together to rescue our people from uh, where we are find ourselves. So by the grace of God, and you can see uh, the method we are using here today and uh, uh, what is there from our party is on consensus. Everybody is happy, smiling here, uh, that uh, a new thing is coming up. And they, they are, even our grassroots, are, we are so disturbed. Uh, our people are so disturbed. Every day asking us that don't we have alternative? Is it, must it be only these other parties that people have been trying and they're failing us? So we thank God Almighty that uh, even the INEC of today give other of the alternatives for our people to see that uh, they can demonstrate and uh, succeed having uh, where their vo votes will be counted with the new bill thank you very much all right my name is Elijah Abrazak Absalam I'm from Ilorin South local government in Kwara State I can be what five precisely Uh, thank you. I'm the newly elected state chairman for NMPP in Kwara State. And uh, I thank Almighty Allah for the opportunity given me by these great people to come and lead this, uh, the new Nigerian People's Party. And I believe that with people like us and our antecedents, success is sure. You have just said it all. Kwara is one of the first states that are created in this state. And let's look at it. 
from creation till now. What is the, what can we what can we really 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 stand on that we can say this is of beneficiary to the masses in the state? We are all we have started from these past parties. I was a former member of the People's Democratic Party. We left to uh, APC, thinking we are going to have a change. We are the true change we are actually advocating for. But unfortunately, we are just repeating old wine inside a new bottle. So we now felt it is important for us to chant another course for the masses. How do we make sure that we have people-oriented projects? Projects that will directly touch your life, touch my life. Projects that will save the future of this state and metamorphose at the country at large. You can see what is happening now today that we, we cannot just continue to sit down and allow the life of our people to be jeopardized. So that is why we have decided to opt out and join this great party that you see the symbol behind me, New Nigerian People's Party, so that we can be able to give Nigerians, Quarans, the new life, the good life they deserve. That is why we are here today. What are the chances of NNPP in the forthcoming general election? My brother, the, the, we are not talking about 50-50. If you look at the town today, we are not a third force. Because anyway, there's no even, the second force is what we are. We are trying to say enough of A and B that have been pushing us around. We are, our chances is a clear chance. Because if you look at the caliber of people you have seen here today, if you see the number of people that is here today, you will know that we are not here to play at all. We are here to salvage our state. And inshallah, by the special grace of God, we are going to, we are going to deliver and we are going to form government of this state come 2023 by the special grace of God. Are you physically present in the world? My, I can give you the records for you to see. The island can confirm it. The 193 words we have, the, we are present in all 193 words of the state. We are present, not only present, we are on ground. It's not that only that we are present. If we say present, maybe one or two people there. We are on ground. We are on ground. An event will afford himself very soon. You will continue to see very soon. You will see what they call the real political inquiry.
and before the commission, man. I like that. Before the commission. And I was Quality. 